everybody shows you their spot clean computer desk. Mine is never that neat because I'm working. I'm always working. A buddy of mine told me a long time ago when he walked in my studio, I said, pardon the mess. He goes, brother, if your studio is clean, you're not working that hard. And I'm like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. <sighs> <laughs> one, two, one, two. All right, hey, hey. All right, buddy, why don't you sit right there for, this is like your pedestal, all right? So I'm, I'm pretty cool with this AI thingy in, um, my camera man it's it's really cool because it's like having a friend with you uh that's smart enough to have a conversation with you about what you're doing you know not everybody gets the whole photography thing that i do in a technical way for casual conversation so it's uh it's really cool to have fuji over here hey fuji what do you think i think 1.4 is way more interesting than f8 i know remember that who was it that violin player yeah she was awesome. Hey, Fuj, remember that second line we had recently with Karen and Ed for the wedding? That was that was awesome. Nothing like dancing in the street. Oh, and look, if you've been watching my channel for a little bit, recently when we had Mardi Gras, there was a band, a drum line that I showed you in one of the events that I covered. And all the lights were off and all the um, LED strip lights were around the drums, which was cool. But they played awesome and they sound awesome. But guess what? We had them again last night. <laughs> you thinking Fuge? They were tight. I told you, I know. So look, I have to show you something that I've been doing on some recent events and I'm glad I, I did this. Normally, you know, people are used to buying another name brand lens to uh, put on your camera. You know, you have your Nikon camera and you're using a Sigma lens. Hey, that's a thing. It used to not be, but now it is. Well, Interchanging your equipment, if you can, is fine, if it works fine. And something that I've been doing lately is putting my Canon 600 EXRT flash on my Fuji camera. And the reason why is the pin count down here matches the pin count on here, so it works fine. I do not use my flashes on TTL anyway. I only put them on manual. I like complete control, and that means manual on the flash, and I decide how much to, to put out there. This is the um, Godox TT350, which is a fantastic little flash, okay? But let me show you its limitations. If you're a quick photojournalistic style photographer like myself, and you know I don't need to strobe up my flash by any means, but I do keep my, um, my dial here on continuous low not just single click and you're done i don't want either on continuous high i want jick 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 you know just enough to get enough exposures can your flash keep up with that well here is the tt350 you heard it you stop right okay watch this all i'm gonna do is change the flash and I worked a job last night and I haven't changed my batteries yet. 
in this cannon flash. It does. You ready? Ready? <laughs> and that's with weaker batteries. Oh, dear Lord in heaven. Um, yeah, so I've been using my Canon flash on my camera lately with this little doodad. I'm fine. Uh, again, I thought all I photograph all of my flashes on my camera on manual mode anyway. That was manual mode on a TT350 as well, by the way. Not, T, not TTL, that was manual mode. So, you know, if you have that question of what flash is better for you, well, I just showed you. <laughs> so look, before I get out of here, there's one era thingy still happening with my Fuji X-T4 that I honestly didn't know the answer to until I was watching another channel that I always get my information on uh, from a channel called Powell to Tech. He's awesome. I'll link him below. But I don't do any Fuji tutorials because he is the king. Like, literally, I am not even going to try to come close. I will just reference his channel. You can just go give him some love as well. But if you ever... Um, you're working, okay, I'm going to safely assume you're a working photographer, but when you look at the batteries down here, you know, the little levels, the, the little level, the ugh, the three battery levels that are indicators right there, I turn my camera on to go work. Now, granted, I have three batteries in here. One's in the body, two's down here, okay? I can easily shoot an entire day's wedding, and I was only working for like three hours. So when I turn the camera on, I look down and the left and the right battery, this thing down here, they were in the red, meaning batteries were dead. Eh, 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 batteries are dead. And of course, it's right before that drum line was coming in. This is true. And I was like, what? And then a video from Ken over there reminded me, he said, if you tighten this too tight, sometimes... The sensors are off so these little pins and that little spot when they go in there something is up if it's squeezing too tight it doesn't like it. it it just doesn't like it so it'll show you hey batteries are dead they're not dead and don't don't triple freak out literally loosen this and you're gonna see the battery lights come back on like hey yep yeah, we're here I know. Fuji, what's up, man? Fuji. Fuji. You, you can ignore me now. I'm not talking bad about you. You just you just need a couple of enhancements and then you're the absolute perfect camera. I know. Right? <laughs> so how do, how do you feel about those other big camera companies? You know, the Canons and Nikons. Now the Sony is a big camera company. What do, what do you feel about that? I can do all the things the other guys can do. Only better. I agree. I agree 100%. All right, we need to go photograph a high school senior. Do not speak to my client. They, they may freak out. You guys, uh, stay focused on your dreams. I am living my dream every single day. My YouTube channel is to show you uh, what I do every day. And I'm going to teach you along the way. But most importantly, my life is photography. And uh, Fuji X-T4, hey, Fuji, you are my main camera, dude. We rock. I know. <laughs> All right, see you on the next video, and uh, I'm out of here. Peace. Hey, Fuj. You see what I see? Dude. See that sailboat? This has to be a photograph, don't you think, GK? All right. I'm going on picture mode. <laughs>